what's going on guys and welcome back to another unboxing video if you are new to my channel i normally make content about fitness however i have a huge love and passion for luxury fashion or maybe just a shopping addiction so i do have lots of unboxing and shopping vlogs on my channel as well a little bit of travel and food as well so if this is something that interests you please go ahead subscribe to my channel and welcome to the channel so today i'm going to be unboxing my latest additions from Louis Vuitton that I bought from Singapore so in case you haven't watched my previous vlog I was in Singapore a couple of weeks ago and I visited the amazing island maison store in the Singapore Marina Bay Sands and I just could not help myself came back with two little additions today i will be unboxing what i got show you what i got tell you a little bit about how um i like to style these items as well so the first little one look i have to say first of all this is not a true unboxing because i have used both of these items already but the good thing is i can give you a good review on them since i have already used them and i also can pop up a few photos of me using them and whatnot so the first little thing that I got is actually a little accessory. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it. It still comes in a little dust bag like this, super cute. So I'm just gonna open it. And look how beautiful it is. It is a Twilly and I mainly got it as an accessory for my black Alma BB in the bubble gram. So I do have an unboxing video for that as well if you want to go check that out. So this is something I bought for it to just go around the handle. I think it's going to be really beautiful just because the bag is all black and this really just jazzes it up. I also plan to be wearing this on my hair so um you can kind of do it a little bit like a bandana sort of situation i just think like the little chain details are super cool you can do it um, to be honest i'm not very good at um tying it just yet but i do plan to watch a couple of youtube videos that will help me um what i have done is i have used it as like a little ponytail tie so you can just kind of do this um i plan to wear it as like a little bit of like a headband situation i think that'd be really cute um but yeah i've basically just like tied a ponytail and then like tied this around as well so you can kind of do a little bit of a ponytail situation with it so that is the secondary use of it some people use it as a necktie although that's not quite my vibe however i've used this very successfully as a belt so it goes around my waist just perfectly like that so sometimes you just can't really find belts that will suit um, but yeah, it just it sits really nicely on your waist. I guess you can kind of put it around your leggings as well. But yeah, so this is an added bonus that I get to use it as a belt. And I really enjoyed when I used it as a belt, honestly. So yeah, I'm just not very good at tying it on my hair. But belt, yes. And then also as a little accessory for my bag, it is perfect. And then the second item that I got, again, like I said, not a true unboxing. However, I must say, all these are the real and original boxes. So I always make sure I bring the packaging back with me, especially for, I know you can probably guess already from the box, it is a pair of shoes. You can probably already tell from the title what it is. With shoes, especially, I always make the effort to bring the boxes back because I want to be able to store them in their respective boxes just to protect them and just you know, in case I want to sell them, but I don't think I ever will. Like I'm just, I'm totally, I'm in love with all my items. I don't have a single item in my luxury collection that I plan to ever sell. Although it is good to know that if I ever wanted to, and if I ever needed to, that the resale value is there. It's always a beautiful classic item. So anyways, um, I brought this back with me, including the paper bag as well. I probably have way too many of these paper bags now, but basically what I do, and this is a good travel tip as well. If you manage to find something you absolutely love that's luxury overseas, and you want to bring the packaging with you, because let's face it, the packaging is part of what we pay for what i do is i flatten the um shopping bag keep it nice and flat and then i store it in the part of the luggage where you kind of put all like your socks and underwear that little zippy thing so you unzip that you flatten the box and then you put that in there and then zip it back up and then with the boxes 
So what I do is I take the shoes out because these became the most chunky pair of shoes that I had. I actually wore them on the plane. I'm gonna insert a photo here of my plane outfit. So um, yeah, I wore them as like, you know, a little plane outfit. So I wore the shoes with them. Again, pro tip, always wear your heaviest and most chunky shoes on you because they take up the most space in the luggage. And then in the box, what I do is I fold all my clothes nice and small and I chuck it in there to keep the box nice and full. And then I place the whole box into my luggage. So this is how I managed to bring this beautiful box back for the unboxing video, but also so that, you know, I can store my shoes. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Unfortunately, and this is the only one downside I found about, um, it's not really a big downside, but it's, you know, it would have been nice. But most of the time when you buy, um, like say I bought luxury shoes from Dior and I'm pretty sure Chanel and stuff do it as well. They do ribbon it up. Unfortunately, LV did not ribbon it up. So I didn't get the whole ribbon taking out kind of thing. So you're not really missing out on much. This is exactly how I got it just in the box like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And then obviously we have the two little dust bags. So another great thing about, you know, buying luxury shoes, I guess, is they give you not one, but always two individual dust bags. So it comes in two individual dust bags like this. It's a nice good size dust bag as well. And I guess when you're traveling, you can choose to just have the one. But personally, I really enjoy having the separate dust bag to just ensure that like, I guess, the dirtiness of one of the shoe doesn't transfer over to the others, especially because of the color. So let me just reveal to you. These are the Louis Vuitton Arc Light Trainers. Look at them. This is in one of the classic colors. They do bring this out in a variety of different colors. There is like bright like lime green and blues and whatnot. They also have a black version, but I really wanted a white pair of shoes. And again, if you've watched my previous videos, you'll know that I do have a Balenciaga black pair of shoes, which is some of my most recent luxury sneakers that I bought. So I wanted something that was a little bit chunky. These were never something that I liked. Honestly, I used to think they were really ugly. Not gonna lie, I've seen them for a while. It's probably taken me two years to kind of grow into the chunky shoe idea. And then um, I was kind of sold on it. I did check out um, the Balenciaga, I think they're like the, the chunky trainer from Balenciaga. And I just think this is just a little bit more my vibe. It is chunky, but it's also kind of like slim and slender. And I do have wide feet. I also have a bunion. However, these were really, really comfortable when I tried them on. They have like a big tongue here at the front and a big little thing at the back as well. So um, yeah, I think these this particular color combination is so easy to style. So, so far I've worn them with little shorts. I think they're like really cute with little shorts. And then I also wore them just with leggings. So I'll show you a bunch of clips here of just me putting them on right now with my black leggings. So they really go for a sporty um, kind of vibe, but also when you're going out and um, with little shorts, that little shorts kind of vibe, and they'll look really good with a skirt kind of vibe as well. So that is the new chunky trainer look. As long as it's a bit of a high top, it does go really nice with a skirt. Um, so you can go for that vibe as well. So it's great in the winter. It'll be great in the summer. Again, in it's perfect for Perth weather because we're not overly, overly cold here. Um, however, Sometimes, you know, it does get a little bit chilly. So we do wear like jeans, long pants and whatever. But again, if you're from somewhere that's hot all the time, then you can basically just always wear them with shorts. So that's really good. Another feature I really like about these is I'm just trying to fix up the laces, but they do a little double lace. So the double lace is a nice, well, it's something a little bit different. First of all, um, I think it adds to the look, but also it keeps this from getting untied I feel I hate when you're walking and then like your shoelaces come out so I feel like this double lace situation kind of keeps it together and um I like how subtle it is as well so obviously it's not just like plastered in Louis Vuitton so the only thing like the other really popular sneakers is the Dior ones and it just has like Dior 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 everywhere and I think it's like a little bit much with this one it has like a small little detailing here obviously down the bottom as you can see I've already worn that um, obviously at the top here as well. And I like this little LV leather detail there as well. So yeah, because 
the LV monogram is just so easy to pair. This shoe just literally goes with everything. Again, it's white. I'm, in case anyone doesn't know as well, I'm obsessed with white shoes. I have a lot of white shoes, mainly very low tops because I was always into the low top vibe. But I just think, especially during winter, when you want to like shove your feet into something and you want your ankles to stay warm, even if you want to wear it with stockings, then you can go for this. And I just love that I can just shove my feet in there Put my hand through this thing and I don't even have to untie the laces so I get really lazy I just like to put my feet in things I hate tying and untying even with the Balenciagas I have to sit down and really kind of like slowly wear it whereas these I can just kind of grab and go I like the little arch feature here as well so inside is actually nice and flat it looks like it's gonna be mega uncomfortable but it's actually not um, it's just it's nice and flat so yeah the good thing about this is as well so after um, you know I've probably I don't know, I should count how many shoes I have in my luxury shoe collection now. But honestly, not all of them are super, super comfortable to wear straight away. The good thing about this is there is no break in time. So the moment I got it, I um, on holiday as well, I started wearing it already. So you don't actually need to kind of break it in. It is very comfortable. However, you still have to be wary about how long you wear it for. So I did wear it for quite quite a long time when I first wore it. So after probably about like an hour of walking, since again, I was on holiday, it does get a little bit uncomfortable, especially through the front, because I was walking all over Jewel Airport with this. So I was, I was walking for a couple of hours and then I was traveling with this shoe as well. So the good news is obviously after all that, I was still feeling pretty good. I think the only thing that kind of held me back is because I do have a bunion, it starts to get a little bit uncomfortable through the front here as compared to my Balenciaga. They are just so comfortable and I can wear it for a very, very extended period of time. I would say this is also really comfortable, but you probably don't want to wear it for overly, overly long. So that's the only downside. I was hesitating to buy this because some people said that it was quite tight through the front, but I think I just got the perfect size. So even though I have wide feet, I think, you know, they're comfortable. I can style them in many different ways and they're just so, pretty so i highly highly rate so if any of you are looking to add the arch lights into your sneaker collection i highly recommend it's not ideal that it's white because it'll probably get dirty however i did spray it and i will try my best to take very good care of it i can do probably um another video in a couple of months or even years to just kind of let you know how it's going but so far I'm really, really loving this. I am thinking about doing another video where I rate all my different luxury shoes as to which one is like, you know, the best, my favorite, um, the most easy to style. But this one literally ticks all the boxes. It's comfortable, it's easy to style, and you don't need to like break it in. So my Gucci's were just a nightmare to break in. I still absolutely love them and I will never sell them. My Gucci boots, I just, I'm really obsessed with them. However, it's just not the most comfortable shoe. So this one is, but because I'm quite an active wear wearing kind of person as well, I feel like even if I was just kind of wearing active clothings, I can dress them down and it can be kind of low key, um, but it's it's also kind of like a statement piece. The thing again I love about most about this shoe is again, I like things that are very iconic. So people who know the brand and know the style can spot this from a mile away and they immediately know it's Louis Vuitton. Um, and people who don't know probably wouldn't know unless they look really, really closely. And that is the kind of style and vibe that I normally go for with all my purchases. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's unboxing video. If you did, please like and comment. If you want me to do a video on all my luxury shoes, comparing them, rating them, or just showing it all to you because I don't have all my shoes on here. I just kind of unbox the popular ones. Then let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one.